Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to join a Windows Server 2022 core to an existing Active Directory domain. If you have already installed a Windows Server 2022 core, it is easy to connect it to an Active Directory domain. Using the asconfig command, we can join our Windows Server 2022 core to an Active Directory domain. Press Ctrl Alt Delete key combination to unlock the server core. Log into server core using a local administrator account. By default, when we log in to server core, the asconfig utility is automatically launched. To launch it manually, just type asconfig in PowerShell or a command prompt and press enter key. We can see that there is a numeric identifier before each option. To enter a specific setting, just type the numeric value and press enter key. For example, to manage the network settings, type 8 and press enter key. Before joining the server core machine to an existing Active Directory domain, we will make sure it has the correct host name and valid TCP IP configuration. We have already given a host name ws2022-core01 to our server core machine. Now use option 8 to configure network settings on our server. Make sure it has a valid TCP IP and DNS server address configured. You can skip this step if you are using DHCP in your environment. IP settings can be either static or dynamic. As we can see, already a network adapter has an IP address. But we want to assign a static IP address to the server. Type the network adapter index number and press enter key. Type 1 and press enter to assign an IP address to selected network adapter. Again type 1 and press enter to set network adapter address. Type S and press enter to assign a static IP address. Type the IP address and press enter key. Press enter to accept the default subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0. Now enter the IP address of the default gateway if you have any. Enter 172.1872.1 and press enter to continue. The IP address Subnet mask and gateway address information has been successfully assigned to the network adapter. Press enter to continue. Again, use option 8 to configure network settings on our server. Type the network adapter index number and press enter key. This time, type 2 and press enter to set up DNS server's IP address. Type the IP address or preferred DNS server and press enter key. Type the IP address of alternate DNS server if you have any. Press enter to continue. We have successfully assigned DNS server's IP address to the network adapter. Press enter to continue. After network configuration, let's ping the domain name to verify DNS name resolution and network connectivity. To do so, type 15 and press enter to exit out of the asconfig utility. Type ping msftwebcast.com and press enter key. Here, msftwebcast.com is the name of our existing Active Directory domain. We are getting a reply back from the IP address 172.1872.50. This means we have network connectivity with our domain controller and DNS resolution is working perfectly fine. Type as config and press enter key. To join server to a domain, type 1 and press enter. Type D for join the server to domain. Enter the domain name which is msftwebcast.com in our case. Let's press enter key. Now provide domain admin username or other domain username who has the permission to join the server to active directory domain. Type msft webcast slash administrator and press enter key. We will be asked for the password. Type the password of the username provided.
while joining the server core to the domain, we also get an option to change the computer name before restarting. Since we have already changed the computer name earlier, I'm going to type N and press enter as we don't want to change the computer name. After joining the Windows Server Core to the Active Directory domain, we must restart the server to finish the joining process. Type Y and press enter to restart the server. Now let's go to our domain controller. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for Active Directory domain msftwebcast.com. On Server Manager, click on Tools and then select the Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on Computers Container. Here we can see our Windows Server 2022 core is listed as a computer account in msftwebcast.com Active Directory domain. Let's double click on the computer account. Click on Operating System. And here we can see the name of the operating system of WS2022 Hyphen Core 01 computer. It is Windows Server 2022 Data Center Evaluation Edition. Let's go back to our Server Core Virtual Machine. After the system reboots, we can now log in to the server with domain credentials and manage other aspects of the server. Press Ctrl to delete key combination. Press Escape key from the keyboard as we want to use the domain admin's credentials to sign in. Press Escape key. Press Escape key again. Choose Other User option and press Enter key. Type domain administrator's username and password. Let's press Enter key to sign into this server core using domain admin's account. Let's wait for the as config to load the utility. Let me exit from command prompt by pressing option 15. Let's type command who am I. Press enter key. And here we can see the information about the login user and it is domain administrator. That's all for this video on how to join Windows Server 2022 core to an existing Active Directory domain. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.